Okay, so here's part three of the tutorial. So what we've done so far, we've uh, set up everything, the, the Flex project and the PHP project, all working on the local server. And now so we need to get it onto the, the web. So you go project, release build. It'll always de default to the WAMP, but you can put it there if you want, but I just like to keep it in my documents. So I want to keep it in the Flex tutorial in my documents. And I want it to be put into a bin release again, just to uh, keep with tradition. Hit finish. There you go. So you flex projects. Flex tutorial web. Bin release. And here it is. Now we, we have to make some adjustments to this folder here. Open this up, look. As you can see, at the moment, the web route and everything is all set up for um, running on, on WAMP, on the local server. We're going to need to change the web route and the Zen path possibly. So if I, I'll open up uh, Firebug, connect it to my server. And this is obviously public HTML is the actual web route. You can see my web files in it. First thing we have to notice is the Zen framework. Now, if you go back to this, I go to the WAMP, www, that's here. Now this the first time that you run Flash Builder, this is actually written in for you. What you actually need is the, the library, and that, that's all you really need. You don't need all of this. The first time that you upload to your server, you're going to have to put it in here. So see, I've only got the library in there. Now I've put that inside the web route. You can put it outside the web route if you want, but that does go back to this. So I don't have to put the dem path in, or I just to put the web route in. So the web route is equal to, in my case, it's home forward slash username forward slash public underscore HTML. Obviously, the HTML bit you can get from. Uh, from here, this bit here, you have to get off your server, or well, it should tell you in cPanel exactly what it is. If I put it up here a little bit so you can't see it, I'll put in my real one. Okay, so we've got that in there in the uh, AMF directories. So if we go back to here, what we'll do is make up a uh, new to create directory, call it flex underscore tutorial okay now in there we'll make a new folder as well called um, PHP and in the PHP we're going to put PHP so I go back to my documents my Eclipse projects flex tutorial that's the value object in the MF server is what I needed. So let's drop those into PHP. Okay, so that's done. If I go back to my ini file, so the MF directories is now the flex tutorial forward slash PHP. That's where the actual classes are. So we can save that. Close that. Go back to my documents, flex projects, flex tutorial web, in release. So we'll change that so everything should be okay there. I'll fill up on that. I just want to copy all of that into there. Okay, while well that's going on, I'll show you something else in the Flash Builder. It's actually the Gateway PHP is what the Flash Builder connects to. So if you open the service, away from the super service, if you scroll down to the endpoint, you see it's at the Gateway PHP. Well, that obviously works on the web because it's going to be in the same folder. But on a mobile, that's not going to work. You have to put the, the absolute URL in. But you can't put it in here because, as it says up here, that every time you regenerate a service, this gets overwritten. So if I copy that here, and you notice know, after it sets the end service, it calls the pre-initialize. So it does that afterwards. 
So if I call that, I need to override the pre-initialize, and then rewrite. And put that the absolute. Sum of the square dot com for slash flex so that would now work on a, on a mobile it will still work on the web but obviously on the mobile you have to do it use the absolute and then you can always regenerate it will it'll redo that but it won't actually overwrite that file so that's just a little tip for doing a mobile okay everything's copied across now I suppose it's time to test it. Uh, one, one last thing I do like to do myself, obviously it's up to you if you want to do it. So I'll just rename that. Let me try this. Some of the square.com forward slash in there what www dot sum and it worked okay so that's uh I hope that's useful to you obviously not a very slick video but uh, made a few mistakes but hopefully it helped you remember things okay cheers